definitely. Uh, I always have a good time coming to Oregon. Uh, you know, seeing some of the kids that came to the camp earlier and uh, last year, and now, you know, seeing them grow and get a little a year older, uh, seeing their basketball skills develop. But uh, you know, it's been good times. Um, I'm not sure how often you make it back. Do you make it to any uh, Ducks games anymore? Probably. Don't I always really catch. No, no, I don't have to have, to have the time during basketball season to make it back. Uh, I think I've been back to one since since, uh, since I made it to the NBA. But uh, I do go back to one football game a year since that's not during our time. But, uh, you know, I always have a good time when I am here. Excited to see him go. You know, uh, he's a great coach, uh, kind of a victim of his own success. You know, he put the program on a pedestal, and uh, you know they had some co couple bad years, and uh, you know, uh, unfortunately that's that's the way the business is. So I uh, wish him the best, and I hope that uh, you know he gets a new job soon, and uh, you know because he's a good coach and he can coach, so he'll be all right. Now I bring in Dana Holman to kind of see if they can spark something. Do you, are you familiar with him at all? And just curious if you maybe get your take on. I uh, never met him. Never met him. Uh, you know, I wish him luck and, and uh, got some big shoes to fill. Uh, never met him yet, so I uh, wish him best. What do you think those guys need to kind of get him back to the level you guys once had? Uh, I don't know. You know, uh, they got good recruiting. Uh, you know, they have some good guys there. Uh, you know, Malcolm's a great point guard, and, uh, you know, I like Matt uh, Humphreys at center, and, uh, you know, Jovan and McKendrick, so they got a good team. He's inheriting a good team, so, uh, you know, just add a couple guys, recruits, and, um, you know, I'm sure they're going to have a great year. You've been by the uh, new arena to see it? I uh, drove past it, see what it looked like. It uh, looks like an NBA uh, arena, so um, that's an excellent building. It's going to help guys come here, so, um, you know, I just wish that Coach K could have played one year. Probably going to miss the pit, though. You know, it wasn't just the pit. You know, I mean, I love McCarthy Court. Uh, it's been great to Oregon, um, but it's the fans. You know, the fans are not going to change. The fans are always going to be there. So, uh, you know, it's just it's sad. You know, we're not going to see the pit uh, anymore, but, you know, the pit crew will still be at the new one. So it's starting a new legacy. Now, if you, your role kind of expanded, uh, part of that force sort of by the end of the and things like the and everything that's happened there, how was that going? Something that's kind of coming kind of easy to you? Um, you know, I'm getting better at it. Uh, you know, it seems like every year your role changes. Uh, they want you to do something better, you will do something more, do something different. And, uh, you know, I've adapted to it and I continue to improve. And, you know, just getting a reward last year just kind of proved that. So um, I'm looking forward to the next season, getting y'all back and, and having a better year. What's it like playing out here? How much of a difference makes this year? Oh, Yao is, uh, you know, our, our finisher. Uh, you know, he's our guy that. You know, I think last year we had so many games where we was up and then we went on four-minute droughts and not scoring the basketball. We didn't know where to get points at. And, uh, you know, Yao's going to stop that. So, um, I think, you know, we, we won 42 games last year. Uh, you know, we went eight more. We're in the playoffs. I think he could definitely put us over the hump. You guys feel like you are contenders for not maybe not just the Western Conference, but maybe the whole thing going, going Definitely, there. definitely. You know, the, the main focus is getting into the playoffs. And, uh, you know, after you get there, we, we took L.A. to the seven games. You know, one game, you know, we could have had a, a great uh, finish. But um, just getting to the playoffs, that's a start, and uh, you go from there. Just kind of curious to get your thoughts on the LeBron fiasco, if you may go call it that. Mm -hmm. I mean, all that surrounding the free agencies. Have you ever seen anything like that? I mean, it's... This is a huge, huge free agent season. Uh, you know, every day there's somebody signing with someone different. It's almost like a fantasy draft because so many different teams are changing. And, uh, you know, not just them have Hito Turkey going to Phoenix and Al Jefferson going to Utah. There's so many moves this year, and uh, every team is putting themselves where they're stacking teams. And, uh, you know, you got to keep shaking and moving to find the right combination. I'm looking forward to seeing how good they'll be. You know, it's, they're three good players, but can they play together? So that should be interesting.